As the world witnessed spectacular at the 2016 U.S. Open, the USGA Foundation delivered on our mission to bring tennis and education together to change lives and serve up dreams. We are extremely grateful to you, our donors, for its smashing success. We raised nearly $1.7 million, an almost 70% increase over 2015. That's a spectacular year for us and for those we support. The energy and excitement of opening night of the U.S. Open shined a spotlight on the efforts of the USTA Foundation. It's a star-studded evening dedicated to raising funds and honoring special donors like John Paulson. Uh, for me, being a lifelong tennis fan and player, it's a great honor to receive this award from the uh, United States Tennis Association Foundation. Thank you. Alec Baldwin and Deborah Messing co-hosted the evening with humor, ease, and most importantly, with a deep understanding of the work the U.S. State Foundation is doing to help under-resourced youth. Tennis in the inner city where they're getting these kids to play, it's a great, great uh, opportunity for them. So anything I can do to help the foundation is my great pleasure. But that's what's so extraordinary about the foundation is that it's, it's not it's not just focused on New York. It's, it's across the entire United States. An extraordinary highlight of the event featured Grammy award-winning singer-songwriter Jewel, who performed a new and emotionally charged ballad to an enchanted audience. It was a perfect introduction to our guest speaker, NJTL participant Cheryl O'Dell. Coming to the foundation, there was so many people who were willing to invest in me, who showed me that, you know, my life was worth it. In partnership with the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, Simplify Fun and Chase, we organized Military Appreciation Day at the U.S. Open. We were honored to host VA Secretary Bob McDonald, dozens of military service members, veterans, and their families to enjoy some great tennis. I think it's amazing to be able to come out to events like this. It just really helps to show that you know we're cared for and looked after. So thank you, everyone. In addition, the USTA Foundation identified three wounded warrior elite athletes. Captain Mitchell Keeper, Sergeant Steve Oterra, and Sergeant Gideon Conley to serve as ball persons throughout the U.S. Open. Late in the second week, our Pro-Am event matched donors and tennis enthusiasts with encore champions like Martina Navatilova, Michael Chang, Mark Filippousis, Mary Jo Fernandez, Patrick McEnroe, and our own chairman, former world number four player, James Blake. It was amazing being on the court with Martina Navratilova. Uh, she held serve in the second game, and I turned to her and said, nice hold, Martina. And then I looked at myself and I said, did I really say that? And our brick and paver program added more than 50 new neighbors to the Avenue of Aces, where more than 700,000 U.S. Open fans visit each year. The U.S. State Foundation is very proud to have enjoyed a successful 2016. Again, thank you for your support, and we look forward to an even more spectacular 2017.